Nobody. Nobody? I told my parents to watch this match. Okay, all right. I think my parents know, uh, don't know anything about the game, but they understand that I play the dude with the gi, so they're, they know who to cheer for. Why am I getting K-pop ads from YouTube? Uh, I love K-pop. I'm a big Black Pink fan. My favorite member of Blackpink is um, Johnny. Uh, you know, this is actually a good stage for me. <laughs> the Brian pick, I, I loved it. I love the Brian pick. Man, after after this tournament though, I recognized one thing is that like I I don't have the ability to to play aggressive without playing like a little bitch. I play aggressive. Uh, I I I'm I can't play aggressive. I play I, I play aggressive for like a half a second and then I'm like I'm fucking scared out of my mind. Let me move back. You suck, Rickster. What are you doing that? Nobody saw this coming, I can tell you that. That was a sign of like hella disrespect. No problem, I got this guy. No. Oh, no break on the throw. That was a game I can't even hear that. Spacing. Not doing so well on Ricky's side. Me trying to get close that space. Down back three. Jabs about once again. Low combo, yes. It's a button. No, not, see, every, oh, every time I hit a button, I was always down. scared of that. that is actually so good fucking orbital. Oh. So every time he got close, I'm like, I can't do it down three because he's just going to orbital or something. And I ended up playing like a little bitch. Of course. But it's fine. That's something that's good. I wish I knew a better combo here. Whack, whack. Still has a bar to work with later in the round. Or, actually, you know what? It's less about knowing a better combo and more about being confident in the ability to do a better punish. On those whips, I should be doing something like standing to, because I have meter. I should be doing standing to fireball FADC or something, right? But I wasn't, I'm not, I mean, A, I'm not confident in doing that. And B, it's not like something that's like, uh, you know, it's, so, it's, it's a hard habit to break, right? Because I tend to play characters who, you know, don't need to do that as a punish. I've been playing Tekken for so long that, sure what that was. if I sidestep something, I'm oh, trying to launch it. Not any of it. Combo, uh, and we on the board. Okay, Rickster. <clears throat> it's still a first game. Run this bad boy back, he can. And this is exactly what he did against JD Shar earlier today, right? Lost the first two rounds, brought it three straight back to win the first game. Yeah, I mean it's not a bad punish, oh, obviously, wow. but I feel like I can always get more. And it's just—it's not necessarily just for that move, but it's just in general. In general, if I sidestep something, I want to get. You know, I want to get the most out of it, and I feel like I don't do that. I definitely don't do that. Ooh, that was a nice punish, but I fucked up the fucking FADC. I hit zero good FADCs this whole entire set, I feel like. But see, I had to play like a little bitch, because he kept throwing orbitals when I got close. Man, this is looking tough. Me taking that first game. He still got support though. He still got. Are you trying to put on the show? Down. Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't doubt that either. You know, I feel like he chose it for various reasons, mainly uh, just to beat my ass with some character he hasn't played in weeks. <laughs> and of course, John Ding was sitting up on that stage last year. Didn't even make the top eight. Shows more advancement when it comes to you know that American playstyle. Ricks still has a chance. He can hear you guys. He's got the headphones off. You got the power. Yeah, but he's gonna go to Abandon Temple. Home court advantage. Come on, guys. This he might almost be lost trying to do a ton stuff. You gotta support this man. Yeah, I guess, right? right here behind I don't him. do well with taunt, so I just stay on the ground. Starting off early with the back one. But uh, but I, but I also I also tech at bad times too. So well, but breaks the throw. Get off of me, bro. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Hey. 
Big damage here. Ooh, I'm so the top two all right. Right. All right. Oh, nice. They commit to the string. Oh, oh. Slam. Put him on the hook. Wait. Yes. Thought the wall was there. I, I remember. I even told myself when he hit me with that wall setting too. I, I told myself, Yo, you're and fine. Get up and EXTP this bitch. Oh my god, the pressure. Focus canceled. Oh, it went. Nice one, two. Ricky on the board. God, I'm wet. Game, that's the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I fucking suck. What happened here? This whole he this whole area here right here was so whack. What the fuck did I do? That was a mistake, first of all. That was one, down one two fireball, F A D C. Somehow my hands just completely negated the fireball and it's in my own mind and I just went straight to one two F A D C. Which actually looked pretty sick to be honest, and I might do that more often. For the demon flip oh my god, the pressure! Focus that was canceled. tight, actually. Alright, you know what I'm doing. Nah, you want Nah, nah, nah. nah. Fuck that. Game, that was genius. See, man, Takuma's almost there. Get those walls. He doesn't know where it's at. Brian's confused. Hey. Oh, gets the uh -huh. big launcher with the twin pistol. Hey. What's next? I'm gonna drop the combo. Hey. Oh, alright, alright. All right. I get greedy with that. I get greedy with that wall carry. And now, need you mean to turn around with the jump? Yes, gets the jump in. Focus cancel. Wow, what was that combo? I don't know. It's pretty cool. That's a season two combo. No lie. I lurk the Akuma Discord like crazy, and they know it. They know I lurk too, because they always criticize me during tournaments. So I love going in there, right? I always go there in the during tournaments after my matches are streamed, because I'm always like, what are they saying, right? Because they watch, and then they're always talking mad shit, right? So I watch it. I'm, I'm reading through it, and you know, the, the same old shit, right? They're like they're being helpful, but at the same time talking mad shit. So I'm reading through it, and someone and they kept talking about my shitty combos, which I know are shitty. And then they were making fun of me because I'm still doing season one combos. That's the combo I just did right there is a season two combo. And to be honest, for the past like two months, not two months, sorry, two weeks or so, I've been practicing this combo because I know it's like it's a better combo. You know, wall carries better, wall carries easier, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I've been practicing that combo, and I totally did not do it in the tournament up until this point. Just because I hadn't practiced it uh, during the weekend. And during the weekend, anytime I got to jump in into Standing One, Show You, or whatever, FADC, I remember just like thinking to myself, what the fuck do I do? And I just do the combo that I've been doing for the past two years. So it's hard to write off, you know, two years, make, you know, erase all those two years and then put in a new combo. So I forced myself to do it here. So at least. That was good. Thank you, Akuma Discord. Oh, God, no. No again. bitches. <laughs> I'm always talking shit. Let down. me rock, man. Let me suck. Back no, up. actually, I love these guys. They're the most helpful the community. Oh, I did that one anyways. You saw last time he used that spring kick to get out of there. Uh, uh, wall. That's just a guess, really. Oh, counter hit. Down back to the real liner. Oh, gotta be careful. God, yes. You have to be careful taking on that wall. Wow, the jump goes way over him. Focus is good not to hit there. Either. The damage that was a bad perfect focus. for me. Last round for Rickster. He is a loser. If you wanted to taunt it up in this game, you should have hit the damn taunt. Oh, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Why are you not taunting? Down three. Here's the focus. Oh, oh my God. In the back. Ready for as soon as he got my back, I legit oh, thought, oh, all right, this so. is over. Wow, wow, that's two. Big damage on board. Uh, uh. I did that because I, I honestly didn't know what to do. I got scared. I did a whack combo there. I hit, I hit down three and I was like, don't do Tatsu because it might whiff. And I did fireball. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, you idiot? I got so confused. I should be, I guess I should be stepping a lot more when I'm that close. Especially if he's doing orbital. I should be stepping. Oh my god. But in these situations, I'm look, I'm, I'm looking for shit like that. I'm looking to try to convert off of a, off of a straight hit. One more round. One more round. Game two. Four, four, four whiffs. Oh my God! He jumped out right in his face. Oh, get the jump in. He's got some meter. And he's got some speed. I already didn't know it. Hey, hey. the full combo almost. He got him to the You bitch. No, second hand. Oh, pressing button. Oh, good. Good. Oh wow! Get down four. four. Oh, the oh, double jump! Oh. Get the double jump! Oh, 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 oh my God! I'm gonna punch him! Oh, 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 oh. oh! I 
did that on purpose. I meant to do that. No problem. Don't ignore that face. Ignore this face right here. He hella meant to do that Tatsu. He hella meant to do that Tatsu. Oh my God. Rickster, stay in the house. I was in my bed this morning watching this full play Tatsu, bro. I ain't a fucking USA. Oh man. Oh my God. I'm like a demon was possessing me at night or something. No, I'll just commentate with Chasey Steve. Put it down. Jesus Christ. We're gonna have to put it down. Tatsu. Game You're three moron. incoming mission. But don't you know what? Oh, you know what man. though? Nice it was because I was moving around. Fury. I was moving around and I was just. God. I don't know what the fuck I'm I was sorry. trying to hit. I don't know man, why I hit four, like but Tatsu came out. Like you I honestly think I was trying to sweep. Guys. This is the last match of this set. It had to have been a sweep. I really think it was just a sweep and I fucked up. That was a good read. I had a good read there. I wish I had kept that read though for later. He's a bitch for choosing the stage too, but it helps me out. I like the stage. Stupid Brian player is always liking the walls. Oh no, he's trying to go for the whip punish with the 1-4, not today. The down three, no confirmed. Nice block yes. and a punish while standing 4-4. Look at the focus move. Mm -hmm. He's chilling around, gotta be careful. Can't over again. Nice duck. Yo, the Jets yeah. though, taking that first round. Yo, he's Game got the three. lead. The lead in the set versus knee. Versus knee, he had the lead in the set. Yo, what? don't sleep on knee. Don't sleep on knee. You gotta stay focused here. Okay, focus cancel just to keep it safe. What are you trying to just tell him? To what, what are you trying to say, Rit? That I'm not focused? I'll need your advice. <laughs> the funny thing is, like, I, you, even though I'm up there, like, I can hear them, but I can't hear them at all. You know what I mean? Like, I hear that they're saying things. I can hear the words that they're saying, but I hell, I can't hear them. That was a fuck up clutch. I was actually trying to do wall standing four. Oh no! No! He's actually successfully baited. He successfully baited. No big punish. Oh no! Brian's getting that. Hey, all the way uh, to the wall. Uh, now uh, how did he get up here? Oh, oh shit. The bad boy. All right, all tied up. Rickster, one round apiece in this final game. Oh, down three. Oh, hatchet mm. kick. Do it again. I, I wanted to block so many hatchet kicks, Come on. but I have Go I have no see. good read on what Brian players like that to fill that out. Punish from me was so sick there. Oh, it was a single three. jab. Four, one. Back two. two. No. I gotta use that move more. I, I, I'm starting to like that move a lot. I don't use it enough. I've been using it way more now. A lot of time left. Rich the with meter on the board. Man, the spacing. Now look at him. He's playing like a 2D game. Yeah, exactly. Oh god. I was actually just trying to stand still because I wanted to see what he was gonna do. I was actually thinking I should use meter here, but I actually, honestly I didn't know how to use the meter and I didn't want to. <laughs> that was my thought process. I was like, I launched him, I was like, I have meter, I have to use it here. How do I use this meter? Fuck it, I don't want to use the meter. That's exactly my thought process during the entire comp. Nice try, but here it is. Set point for Rocks Dragon's knee. I watched this round quite a bit. Oh, I wish I would let that run. I see that was an autopilot combo. I didn't even think about season two. I mean, I guess in this situation too, it's not bad. It's not a terrible combo to do. But uh, I hell was autopilot pilot here. I was like, fuck it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just hit him. Oh, man, if I noticed he was staying on the ground so much. I watched the Eris clip of this. And Eris, he said, you know, after I hit him, he said, oh, I'm being greedy. I'm not being greedy, I'm being whack. I tried to do FADC. I tried to do FADC. My, my hands were no worky. Let me even explain. Let me see, even tell you something funny about this situation right here, right? So, before I think it was either before. Uh, I think it might have been before top eight, right? Before top eight, like I was talking to Rip, and we were just talking about you know how I was playing because he was watching my matches and whatnot, and he's asking me questions, and he asked me why do I always do you know 
jab show you FADC. Why don't I go for like you know standing two or you know some a bigger combo with like a fireball FADC? And I told him uh, because of ease of use, you know, and like you know, it, it's something I've been doing for so long, right? Like I've always done jump in standing one show you uh, since I first played Akuma in Tekken Seven. And, it, uh, and I was like, dude, it's, you know, it's so easy. I won't drop it like I would. I, I could potentially drop down to Fireball FADC back one, right? Uh, but this one is so easy. I'll never, you know, I'll always, it's all reliable. You know, I'll never drop it. I'll never drop it. Never. <laughs> oh god yeah so you could uh, it's, my execution wasn't on point I'll just say that that shit was whack I can't believe he dropped it I would've just killed him I would've killed him I wanted to do it I wanted to I didn't. I wasn't trying to save meter I watched a Bronson version of this too and Bronson said like why are you trying to save meter you're not gonna beat me right and shit like that and i was like i wasn't trying to save meter i fucking know it's knee i'm trying to kill him i'm not being greedy the fuck you think i'm good enough to oh to God, figure out man. how to beat me without damage. spending it's meter okay. the only way i can beat me meter. is by he spending meter die. obviously oh. now let me tell you guys something too about this exact moment there, after this exact moment, legit, like, I turned around because I was shocked, first of all, right? I was super shocked. I turned around and I just saw hella people standing up and the noise in that fucking place was so loud. And normally, normally in, fight, in like tournaments, I try not to get out of that element of it. Right, like I'm in the I'm in a tournament match. I'm playing against someone, you know. This I gotta concentrate on this, right? The crowd, you know, whatever. They'll they'll make noise, and I he'll, I'll hear people. I'll talk back, whatever, right? But normally I'm like norm I'm like in in the tournament match itself. When that happened, and I turned around and I saw all those people. It brought me out of that moment for like a half a second. And I was like, "This is fucking crazy. What the fuck just happened? Hold on, shut the fuck up. <laughs> back to the game." It was legit one of the craziest, like, craziest, like, moments that I got to experience as a player. And then, like, at the same time, I, exp I almost, like, I felt it, it as, a, as a member of the crowd. So that shit was scary, dope, okay. and sad <laughs> all at the same time. That shit was crazy. I was mashing. Also, I was mashing super for like three turns before that. I was so scared. Everyone asked me like, "Oh, was it EXDP or if? Or are you trying to teleport or something?" I was like, "No, I mashed super because number one, if it was EXDP and I missed, I was dead, and I had more meter. So I'm like, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna spend all my meter. And if he doesn't do anything, right? And I just did super, and he blocks, then that's perfectly fine. I spent all my meter, got him off of me safely. Uh, I just did super because I was fucking scared out of my mind. <laughs> there's no other... There's, at that point, I wasn't playing with... There was no brain. I was playing only with my heart. I was like, you're scared. You have all that meter. Don't die like a bitch. But play like a bitch just for a little bit that shit was the that shit was crazy oh my the crowd is going wild Lord, the crowd is going ham right Steve now Cherry's on oh, the such a oh. Oh. Off the sleep. I, it's so hard to break that habit um, cause sweep is so good Damn, but it's also just it's one of those things where it's like it's too it can be too predictable oh, because it's his only move in they certain ranges in that will like can reliably hit anything. Gotta stay composure somehow. Oh, is that not enough? Oh, 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 had I just pressed the kick right there. Oh, right there. Oh, I did too. I did it too. I did it too late. 
you see, like, the kick animation comes out, like, right there. I think he's about to throw that foot. Oh, but he lands. He lands before it comes out. Oh. You know why? You know why I threw out that kick so late? It was because I, I actually was... I actually saw him win. Oh, is that not enough? Because the, the initial jump, I jumped thinking... The jump. At that range, fuck, don't press a button because something might happen. Then I saw him whiff, and I'm like, oh shit, press a button, the and then I got there. Oh, while standing for. Oh, and knee's gonna take it. Fantastic damn. Make some damn noise for Rickster. Damn. Going home with seventh place here at Combo Break. Yo, Rickster, I, hey, I see you, baby. I see you, baby. Damn. I see you. But you know, that was easily one of the funnest things I've I gotten to, uh, I've gotten to uh, participate in. Definitely one of the funnest things. Just because, you know, when the fuck can you ever do that and have hella people in the, cr in, in the room yell all in unison at one fucking moment? The craziest moment because I played like a little bitch and was scared out of my goddamn mind. Oh my god, he cornered himself against Brian. Oh, you stupid bitch. Oh, man. I've been getting so mad at watching myself recently. How the fuck can anyone be a Rickster fan? This dude is the most stressful player on earth. He's so bad at the game. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> you Rickster fans are weird. What is it? it is, there's... You guys are Brixter fans are masochists. That's for damn sure. This shit is stressful and it hurts. It's very painful. Steve Cherry's on the floor. Fisherman slam off the sleeve. Put him on a hook. Big ass knee for knee. Ah, damn! Look at the damage. Oh, down four. Jumping didn't land. Nice jab. Gotta stay composed here somehow. Oh, is that not enough? Have you done standing two? Talk to show you about the meter. We're talking about after the jumping or something. Oh, and he's gonna take it. Fantastic catch. Make some damn noise for Rickster going home with seventh place. Hmm. Was I expecting Brian? That was actually the last, the last uh, character I thought of. But I was very happy that he chose Brian because that was a character that you know if I'm if I'm gonna lose to me, right? He's just a better Tekken player than me, right? He's a hell of he's hella good, you know. So he would have beaten me with a lot of different characters. So in my mind, I'm thinking, well, if I want to play against Knee in tournament, I want to play against one of the characters that he's basically known for, you know. And he's not known for it now, obviously. He don't play it that much, but you know, he was a Brian specialist in the past. So if I'm gonna lose to Knee in tournament in top eight, fuck it, let's lose to his Brian. You know, I'd rather lose to his Brian than. You know, than to get ass blasted by his Steve or his Devil Jin. That shit wouldn't have been as fun. This was more fun because I got to play against his. You know, it was like it's like uh, it's like a really old car that he used to drive and he used to love. You know, it's a little bit run down now, not as not as beautiful as it once was, right? But I got to, I got to race against that car. All reliable. <clears throat> It's an honor to lose to Nice Brian, basically. Hell no. Fuck that. <laughs> it's an honor to beat Brian's ass. Except I didn't. So, shucks. <laughs> Ain't no honor in that. I got blasted, dude. Uh, that shit was fun, though. That shit was really fun. I can't, if if there's one thing I could change, honestly, this is, this is me being 100% honest. If there's one thing I could change, it's this moment right here. It is this moment right here. What's he gonna do for Oki here, though? Not, actually, you know, it's funny. Not this moment. This moment right here, the FADC, had I hit it, I would have killed him, probably, and I would have won the round. I would have had more meter to, to fuck around with in the last round. But, you know what? Knowing Tournament Rickster, he was gonna drop that combo regardless, right? That's fine. The one moment I want to change is not... Anything that has to do with the actual fighting game. He's gonna be big damage. He's gonna be okay. He's got full meter. Did you guys hear that though? Rip says he said I'm getting heart attack. If you listen to it like closely, it almost sounds like he's just saying I'm getting hard. It legit just sounds like he's about to say I'm getting hard. <laughs> See, someone else noticed. Oh, 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 
This is the thing I want to change. Right there. If you guys see it immediately, you see, I'm looking at knee. I'm looking directly at knee. And there's a reason why. The reason why I was looking at knee was because I was having a fucked up reaction, right? I'm like, I took myself out of the tournament at that moment. I turned myself real quick. I t and real quick, I took myself out of the tournament and made myself a spectator, right? And then I turned back and I wanted to see what knee looked like. And I already saw knee was just like, uh, back in the match and so like right then i was like oh shit back in the match right two things it's either one it's either two ways i wanted to change this either don't look at knee and just kind of play like just like all right back to the match without looking at him or i should have never taken myself out of that moment but can you fucking blame me though look at this shit dude it's fucking slow motion with the super and the fucking blue shit how the fuck can i not get loud that's fucked up. I have to get hype. <laughs> fuck that. Man, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not changing your goddamn thing. This is how I had to be. This is how I had to be. I've watched that shit like a million times. This shit's too good. The funny thing is, if you get, have, has anyone actually tried doing this in uh, practice mode? If you guys let, if you guys have Brian do low soccer kick into blue shit, and then you have Akuma do super, Akuma super always wins. Akuma super is actually nine frames, eight to nine frames. It super always wins. But the way the way it looks too is that it it actually hits him, it hits Brian before Brian's back one ever comes out. Other thing, super does not have any invul uh, invulnerability or invincibility frames. It has none of that. So. It's just a really fast fireball. The slow mo is what made it look crazy, right? It made because it looked like Brian's back one was already coming out and hitting, right? So I don't know what I I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no I have no no reason to like I can't <laughs> slow mo sick, but it, but you know that one might have been a little bit fabricated, right? It could have been one of those things where it's like the super and the the super flash. You know, normally when super, when uh, Akuma does his super, there's a a pause on his side, right? You have to see, you have to see him pose, and all that flame shit comes out, right? Uh, I think that plus in combination with the slow mo, just had spaghetti all over the place. Who the fuck knows what's gonna happen? But I think that the game itself knows what the result is but the slow-mo might not be able to keep up with what the real result's gonna be you know what i'm saying if it sounds too confusing all i'm just trying to say is i'm a fucking genius look at this look at this this my fucking big ass head i don't know when ever told me i have a big ass head either i saw these damn pictures of me and my head is giant compared to everyone else's it's because i'm fucking smart that super is a fucking I might not have the execution, or the tournament nerves, or the skills, or anything else, but I have that. that that's all I got. That's all I got is that shitty super. <laughs> that's all I got. Hey, Tishka underscore TVA, thank you very much for the Twitch prime. You guys are, you guys are too nice. You guys are too nice.